Good morning, YouTube. Got a couple of corrections from last night's video. Still have everything pretty much where it was. So before I run out, let's get into that. First of all, as I'm doing the calibration, you hear me talking about going to filmmaker mode, down to advanced controls, down to white balance, to method. The two point is exactly what I was talking about. You're going to hear me going down to next, selecting between low and high, going to next, never touching red guys. And here you can see my green has been adjusted to negative three. My blue is plus one. Now that's again in warm two, that's two point and that's the low. Let's go check out the high real quick. Zero, we got a plus one on green plus plus blue, uh, plus one on blue. So when you hear me talking about that stuff in the video, when I'm going, you know, next more, uh, or previous, you know, from green to blue, this is what I'm, um, referring to. So again, we'll try to put together another video where we can show both, but that's going to be a little difficult for me. Um, the second thing that I would like to note very quickly is that I said at the end of that video, you need to skip forward and, and save your measurements or, or whatever you've done. Well, that's incorrect. Again, I'm sorry. I was on autopilot last night and I've run AutoCal about 800 times and it was just force a habit to say what I said. I was so tired. So as you can see, the values here from the two point are still saved. We don't need to save anything on the, uh, the common software. Um, if we were running the software to perform a calibration, which I am going to advise against for lots of reasons, one being it will lower your peak luminance right off the bat. Um, other reasons, it'll lock out all kinds of things like your color temperature. It will lock out your color gamut and gamma. Anyway, uh, excuse me, let me go back. You do not need to save the grayscale um, calibration in Calman, the grayscale adjustments, because as you can see here on the TV, they are saved on the TV. So just wanted to throw those couple of things in there. As always, thank you for listening. Be good, be safe, boom. Good evening, YouTube. Home Theater Joe here. And very quickly, I'd like to state that I'm just a guy talking to my cell phone and I am not a professional. Having said that I talk too much and I wanna move right into this two point grayscale, grayscale calibration. Now, um, Calman Home for LG, um, software is buggy, yada yada. There's so many things to say about it. Um, I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole. I'm just gonna show you now what I've learned, the third technique, third different way to calibrate my C10. And I actually think this is maybe the best way. Um, there's also another technique which involves the service menu. Those two techniques right there are very good. I think this one on its own, I don't know, but both of them combined, very good. So I'm gonna show you exactly where I'm at with this software right now. It was very hard for me to get the display as well as the uh, software in the image. So I decided to focus here on the software. Now, as I said, I'm not even running AutoCal. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's click this, go here, open workflow template, calibration, manual calibration. Now, for whatever reason, by default, it kicks us into HDR. We're not gonna do that because that's a whole different ball of wax. And I gotta dig into that some more. So here we are in SDR. We go up here now, quick notes. We need to make sure that our meter mode, raw XYZ, we also need to make sure that our low light trigger is enabled by uh, making sure there's an X in the box. Two seconds, and as opposed to the default one, we wanna put five. So at 5% uh, light level, that low light handler should kick in, I assume. All right, let's move on go next all right let's find our well yeah let's find our source why not 
LG. Now, since I'm running the CX, I'm going 2021. Let's see. One, nine, two. Let's see if I can remember. I mean, I should be able to have done it a million times, right? Type in the old uh, thingy there. Uh oh. I, you know what? I'm blocking my own pen. Oh, no, no. It's right in front of my face. 61.55. Oops. Kind of hard to do this in the dark. 93.19. Uh, 93, oops, 19. That should get us connected. Uh, another little tip my buddy Cecil showed us. If we go down here, uh, by the way, we need to make sure this is an SDR, but we can pull up a full black here. So that'll save our display. Um, all right, let's... Uh, just gonna keep that in full black, but now that we've uh, got the display connected, we wanna make sure we're in 709. And because I'm going, actually I should have said this, I'm going filmmaker mode and I'm targeting uh, 100 nits reference. So I'm gonna be moving to power 2.4. Oops, 2.4. Um, and leaving the rest 709 D65 as they are. Let's move next. Okay, this doesn't matter. Listen, I can sit here and measure this, but who cares? That's not what we're here to do. Um, I don't think those are needed. The last two steps. I mean, of course, you're going to want to run this uh, sweep just to find out where your display is at. Um, for this video's purposes, I'm not going to do that. And I don't ever mess with dynamic range either. So I don't do that. Um, now, this is an interesting number. We need, to, we need to know this number. So I'm going to go ahead and read the luminance. We'll see what we are at. We're in filmmaker mode. Let's see. Well, okay, we're at 98.9. Okay. Let's, uh, let's actually... Um, NAV says when you do these... Uh, Luminance, you should do them three times in a row, I guess. So here we go. Here's number three. It's going to put us in at 99. So what you can't see right now is I'm going to my settings, uh, picture mode settings, picture mode, and I'm adjusting my OLED light. I'm actually going to turn it up to 30 and read this series again. All right, 102. We'll take it. So... I'm going to leave my OLED light at 30, contrast, 85, brightness, 50. I did turn my sharpness all the way down to zero. Advanced controls. Uh, uh, color gamut, auto, gamma, 2.4. Um, another great thing about doing the calibration, grayscale calibration this way, is you don't lock your settings out from Calvin. So listen, we need to remember that 102 number. All right? That's very important. Now. NAV also says that LG start to clip at 70. So when we measure these points, this is our two point grayscale. So this is very important and we can actually stop this video right here uh, after we do this. But this is extremely important. So again, my man says that LG start to clip at 70. So the defaults 2 point, 30, 80, we just want to switch that to 30, 70. And for whatever reason, I guess they would like to always measure high first. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull up my settings, go to all settings, picture mode, scroll down to advanced controls, white balance. Now, method, two points. So here you'll see 2.10.22. You stay on two and go to next. It will give you a, an option for low and high. We're gonna stay on high, since as you can see, we're on the 70 pattern, right? I'm gonna press next on my remote, and now it says red. I'm not gonna to touch red, but I'm gonna to go to green. Now I'm gonna press this read continuous button right here. 
Okay, so we're a little out of whack. <clears throat> um, 99, 99, 100. Hey, let me also say this. In my settings, my application measurement, I turn off this box right here. I do not enable this. And I go 45 seconds and 5 seconds. DEITP and DE2000. Just to make sure. Also, we need to make sure that these values match what we put in the beginning, which they do here, 2.4, Rex 709, we're good to go. Now let's get back to this number. As we can see here, the 70 is a little high, so I'm on green now, which is a little low. So I'm actually gonna move green value up one, go to blue now, I'm gonna move up blue one. And wow, we see how that 70 just kinda, kinda went away. Uh, that's really in line. It says 99.9%, 99.9%, 9 and 100%. So we're going to leave that there. I'm going to press stop. Okay, now I'm going to go. I'm on the blue value. I've got to press previous two, three times. And now I get back to my point. So I'm going to switch this to low, which would be 30 patch. And I'm going to, on, on the point, I'm going to also make sure I switch to low. So now I'm going to read continuous press next on my remote so i see the red value again but i'm not going to touch that i go right to green i can see green riding a little high so i'm going to go up here to my remote and reduce that value negative one all right negative two let's see what happens negative three all right that might have been too much probably we're going to go up one with blue Oh, wow. Okay. That's right. See, red's dipping a little bit, but red's still at 99. Blue 99. So all this is pretty solid. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop this from running. I am going to change it full white. Oh, come on, work with me. Back to full black. Okay, look. The two point is done. All right, I did have to change my values. Um, right now, blue is sitting on one, green is sitting on negative three. All right, that's in my low point. And as well, this is in warm two picture settings, so that, that's to be remembered as well. <clears throat> now, all I need to do, listen, I don't, I don't need to run any of this, the two point is kind of what we wanted. Hey, let's run this luminance check real quick though and see what that puts us at. Remember our number was 102 and boom, we're at the same number. So we actually don't need to use this number um, in the two point calibration or two point grayscale, um, but we do need to set it. Okay. So filmmaker mode we want to be reference and we want everything to be in 100 nits so i think that that about explains that um but we're going to be targeting different numbers in different modes in the future so when you move up to that 10 point grayscale calibration you're going to need to write this number down and know it and when you actually get into the 10 point grayscale as beyond to the two point you will need to know that value and that's what you're going to target so uh, we didn't use the luminance number in the two point grayscale this evening, but that luminance number is of great importance. Um, you know, when we, when we do the 10 or 22 point. So I'm just going to go ahead and save my data guys. Um, I don't want this, this video to run forever. I'm going to save it as, uh, let's see, SDR. Well, I guess we'll just say filmmaker. But um, this is going to make sure that these these values stay stored in the display. Even though we haven't, uh, you know, run a calibration or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect now. Um, I didn't run the sweeps and stuff, guys, because I just needed this to be very quick. I need to, I need to call in an evening, man. Um, I have a lot to do tomorrow. Um, but one day soon, hopefully I'll have more time and be able to give you 
an all-around view. So, um, yeah, I think that about does it. Please, if you have any questions or comments, you know, put them down below. Um, I, would, I really value shared experience from other users. So if you have some input, you know, please, again, leave that in the comment uh, section below. And if you have questions, um, hopefully I can get to your questions or somebody else in the comment section can. We're a community here, guys, um, and I really appreciate you. Yeah, I think that does it for this evening. Um, we will move uh, to the 10-point grayscale calibration and show that one as well in the future. As always, thank you for listening. Be good. Be safe.